My name is David Phillips. Last name is P-H-I-L-L-I-P-S. Okay, great. And you're our, tell us your position. I am the deputy scientist in charge of the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. Okay, great. So um, tell us about this latest eruption because it kind of was like, it started, I guess, on Sunday and then it stopped and it started again. So tell us about what, what's going on. Certainly. Uh, so just like you described, uh, it, the current eruption of Kilauea Volcano started on Sunday night. And that was a, a pretty small eruption. It was between nine and 10 o'clock at night. And um, yeah, only lasted an hour or two. And then last night we had a second eruption in the same place and it lasted longer overnight, but activity decreased. And then early this morning between four o'clock and five o'clock this morning, activity increased quite a bit with a new uh, eruption from a new fissure that formed and uh, there's a picture of it in my background here. And uh, so we're currently, as of 10 o'clock this morning, seeing quite a bit of uh, increased activity compared to the last couple of days. Wow. So, so, so what are you saying about what, what is causing this? What, what is the, the basis behind this stop and go, stop and go? Yeah, that's, that's a good question. So these types of eruptions where they kind of stop and go are fairly common for eruptions at Kilauea Volcano. And a, a lot of it has to do with the supply of the magma, which is coming up underneath the ground. And uh, so you might remember the last time Kilauea erupted was on June 3rd, but that was over on the other rip zone. It was on the other side of the volcano, south and west of the summit. And that was on June 3rd of this year. Since that time, be, by tracking the earthquakes, and we've had a lot of earthquakes since then, we've been watching the magma move underground from south of the summit to the summit. And then over the last few months, the magma has been moving underground down to the east underneath Chain of Craters Road. And then that has led to the new eruption series that started on Sunday night. Wow. So, so what would you say about this? I mean, is this something that people should be alarmed about or be concerned about regarding, you know, property or, or any kind of well-being? Yeah, fortunately, there is no current threat to life or property. All, all of the activity is happening within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, and it's miles away from any residential areas or even infrastructure in the park right now. So when you see something like this, though, what can you advise people? Because I'm sure, I mean, when we we're talking about it in the morning news, we're like, wow, it's just so amazing to see just that the whole field. And, and you're there. You're so blessed to be there. So so what can you advise people who may want to venture, obviously, to see the volcanoes and, and this eruption? Yeah, certainly it, it is an amazing experience uh, to behold. That, that being said, uh, safety is always the top priority uh, because these eruptions are happening completely within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. The National Park is managing the area in order to keep people safe. So at this time, my understanding is that all of the roads and trails near the area in the park have been closed. And these opening stages of the eruption are, uh, are the most dynamic. And so we're studying now the current activity, seeing uh, scenarios of what could happen in the future. And so the park is really focused on keeping people safe. Okay. So at this point, can people where can people watch? Like how close can they get to th this eruption or, or can they not see it? Yeah, they, right now um, the only way to see it right now is by helicopter. Um uh, it's in a it's in a very uh remote part of the park. And as you can see from the picture behind me, there's a lot of forests behind it. So there are trees burning. Um but what you're asking is a very good question because most of the most recent eruptions at Kilauea, they've been right there within Hali Ma'u Ma'u and people could go to the national park and experience the lava lake and the eruptions uh, very close, but at a safe distance. And it's it's been a wonderful thing. Um, but right now it's in a different part of the volcano, very difficult to get to. Okay, so oh I see. Okay. Shucks. And I'm sure I'm sure a lot of people I'm glad you're mentioning this because I'm sure some people would want to go there in anticipation of possibly seeing the eruption. 
So, so what uh, what would you say about this? How long do you think this one will possibly last? You know. Yeah. We we I wish that we could say for sure exactly how long it will last. Uh, unfortunately, when eruptions like this start, there's it's not possible to say. Uh, it's it's possible, you know, we could talk about scenarios though based on similar eruptions we've seen in the past. Uh, so so far with this eruption, there's been three phases. There was that first really small eruption Sunday night, and then there was the, another small eruption last night. And then early this morning is this third phase, and it's it's covering a big area, but but as you can see, it's still just along the line uh, these this fissure that has opened, um, and so this one is more active. Uh, but until we uh, only time will tell at this point as to uh, how long this eruption will last. But it would not be surprising to see kind of continued activity where maybe it starts and then pauses and then starts again. It's really hard to say at this point. So how big is it? How massive? I see it. It looks beautiful behind you. But how how would you describe this? Yeah, the, the current fissure that's erupting right now, um, it's less than half a mile long. Okay. So it's not, not that big an area. Some of these um, fountains that you can see behind me, they're about 30 feet tall where the lava is coming out of the ground. Okay. So a relatively small area. Okay. Any any other... Um... What you're noticing about this, does this, what does that mean for like the volcano? Is there anything that you can estimate that would possibly happen in the future? Or like from looking at this, what are you looking for? Well, what we've been seeing overall has been a pretty interesting change in the behavior at Kilauea over the past year. Uh, so a year ago, at this time, actually, there was an eruption in Halima'uma'u. Uh, and and like you were saying, that one was very easy to see from from viewing areas within the national park. It was right up there at the summit, and that eruption stopped. And then we had a series of earthquakes, and for the last several months that led us to that eruption on June third. And then all the activities moved down. So what to the eastern side where we're seeing right now, mm -hmm. and. That's also significant because where this eruption is occurring is close to the Puuo'o event. And Puuo'o is the event that erupted for about 35 years uh, from the early 1980s all the way up until 2018 at the beginning of the Leilani uh, eruption then. So, so kind of what, what this eruption is telling us is that the magma is now moving away from just the summit and it's re-accumulating in these storage areas out there in what we call the Middle East Rift Zone. And uh, this, over the long-term history of Kilauea, hundreds of years, thousands of years, this is a very typical uh, situation. We we know that lava builds up under the ground, no, it's magma when it's still underground. We know that magma accumulates in this area of the volcano. And when it gets to a certain level of pressurization, then it will erupt. Okay, so so what can you say about? Because I know you like we're we're talking about too that this is a year since that last Hale So yeah. so so what would you say like for people to to get kind of a feel of well you know like this happened a year ago and now today we have this one. Is there anything that you can say for the the novice observer? Certainly, I I would say the best way to describe it is that. Uh, the, uh, the magma is is reoccupying parts of the underground system of the volcano that have not been active since 2018. And so we are seeing with this movement of the magma away from just Halima'uma'u within the summit and down towards where this current eruption is taking place in the Middle East Rift Zone, that's telling us that this area is recharging and lava is coming out here for the first time since 2018. Okay, but this is not anything that some people should be concerned about or tell us about that aspect. So yeah, this is so, not really yeah. yeah, no, that, that's a really good question. And uh, and certainly there's a lot of people who were uh, impacted by the 2018 eruption. Uh, as of right now, there are no signs of any activity down in the Leilani area or any communities on Kilauea. So 
So that's good news. All of the activity is is within the national park. Okay. Now, what about the VOG situation? I know that people you know, who are uh, you know sensitive to VOG are. What's your advice, doctor? Yeah, that's that's and uh, the VOG is is the primary hazard right now. Um, the emissions, the gas emissions. And that's been true of the recent eruptions as well, as even though people were safe from getting too close to the lava, the, the, the eruption puts out a lot of VOG. Um, and the sulfur dioxide, the SO2, is, is one of the primary constituents there that we're concerned about. And people who have asthma, such as myself, or a lot of other reactions to this VOG, now that it's erupting again, then that is an increased hazard from the VOG. And the impacts from the VOG will depend on which way the winds blow. So under trade wind conditions, like I think we're seeing mostly today, it will tend to blow the VOG towards the south and the southwest. A lot of the places that it's blowing right now are within the National Park. And because the park is closed access, there shouldn't be anybody exposed. But the longer that this goes on and the bigger the eruption gets, that means that residents, especially in the Kauru district and over on the Kona side, uh, may experience an increase in, in bog hazards. So, Doc, you, at this point, though, you can't, you don't know like a time period of how long this might last. You kind of, mm -hmm. I know, you like we said, it's kind of stop and go. So we don't know if it's like another day or two, or could it could go on for, who knows? That's possible. Yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so anything else you want to add, Doctor? Um, I, well, you've asked such great questions, and I think the main message right now is that we are seeing a new phase of activity uh, in the eruption at Kilauea. It's erupting again on the Middle East Rift Zone, but one of the main messages right now is that all of the activity and all of the eruptions right now are completely within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. And uh, the National Park is focused on keeping people safe. And at this time, there's no threat to any of the communities in the Southeast Rift Zone. Mahalo, doctor. You're so, you're so, you're perfect. Thank you. Oh.